Well, I'm going to do a test today of a few new things. Uh, i got the uh, Harley Street Bob. That's my new bike. I also got the Viking Cycles mesh jacket. Uh, there's some various reviews online uh, complaining about the liner and stuff like that. This is the Viking Cycles Ironside in a large. I'm 5'7", about 175 pounds, and I work out pretty regular. I'm not you know, trying to brag on my physique, but just to give you an idea of my general girth and body size. Um, the jacket seems to fit really well. There's a whole lot of adjustment in the waist. It cinches up pretty nice. I have a Joe Rocket leather and mesh jacket that looks almost exactly the same except for the portions that are canvas on this jacket are leather on the Joe Rocket jacket. And the thing that I like about this jacket better so far is that the sleeves are just a little bit shorter. Um, I have short arms, so that works out better for me. And on the Joe Rocket jacket, the sleeves, um, where the leather and the snap meet with the cuff, can, they can get pretty uncomfortable. This one, because it's canvas, it's not as uncomfortable. And also it has a Velcro adjustment and it seems to fit uh, my arms a whole lot better. And then oddly, the Joe Rocket jacket is actually shorter in the back than this one is. And I kind of look like a bullfighter. So this jacket um, actually fits my torso uh, better than the Joe Rocket jacket does. It has tons of pockets and it did come with a liner, but the liner is only a uh, vest style liner. When you take the liner out, it has no sleeves, um, which is okay with me because if it's cold, I'm not going to be wearing this jacket. I'm going to be wearing, you know, a full leather jacket. I got this one for hot weather like today. And uh, I don't know if this is ominous or not, but I've uh, got some buzzards chilling out over here. Uh, who knows what they're eating. Hopefully they haven't come for me. And then the other item that I'm testing out is this uh, mount for my Insta360 camera. I wasn't able to use it on the Z900, but it fits really nice right down here on the uh, passenger foot peg. So I'm going to give that a run and see how it holds up, see if it, if it moves or comes out of position or drops my camera down the highway, um, and also see how it does with vibration.
Well, the jacket did great on the ride. The wind was able to come right through, well ventilated, felt nice and cool, even when I was in direct sunlight. Uh, however, the camera mount was not so great. This is the small rig camera mount. Got it off of Amazon. The handlebar clamp did just fine, uh, both on the handlebars and on the rear passenger peg, but it's the ball joint that kind of sucks. The uh, mount was okay on the rear, despite the ball joint, because of the saddlebag that I have here. Uh, that basically allowed the stick to just kind of pivot. I had it offset a little bit, and the stick, when the wind resistance got up higher, kind of just pivoted directly behind the bike. No big deal. But when I had it up on the front, it went from being positioned up and in, in front of the bike to whipping over my head and coming over to the side because the ball joint uh, was just not strong enough to handle the wind resistance. Um, so I think maybe for those kind of angles, what I'll do is make a similar homemade mount like I had for my Z900 that can attach where the uh, rear mirrors normally go and then um, that'll keep it more stationary.